Hi everybody, welcome back to another Craft Cafe. On today's program, we will be making these origami gift boxes. So grab your paper and let's get started. Okay, for an origami gift box, you can use any size paper that you'd like, as long as it's perfectly square. I'm showing you with an eight by eight inch. These here are six by six inch. So depending on how big you want your box, that should be determined the size of your paper there. So for the first fold, we're gonna go ahead and fold this down at the angle in half and make a good crease there. Open it. Now from the other side, we're gonna go ahead and fold that down at the angle in half. Make another good crease there. Open your paper. And we're gonna turn it so that our points are at the bottom and the top. We're gonna take the side point and we're gonna fold it into the middle where our creases intersect there. And we're just gonna give it a little fold right in the middle here. Go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side by folding it into the middle and giving this a little crease right in the middle there. Okay, open that up. We're gonna take this side and we're gonna fold it all the way over to that little crease that we made where those creases intersect. And this time we're gonna give it a full crease. Fold that all the way down there. Okay, open it. Do the same thing to this side, but folding it over to the little crease we made. Make sure you don't fold it to this line we just made. Fold it all the way to that little crease and give this a good full crease. Open your paper. We're gonna turn it, or turn it to the side and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we're gonna fold this over to the middle, giving this a little crease. Open this side to the middle. Again, giving this just a little crease. Take this side and we're gonna fold it, pull it all the way over to that little crease we made, giving this a full crease. Open, again, this side all the way to that little crease we made toward the beginning, not the fold we just made. Careful of that. And give this a full crease. Open. Okay, next we're gonna take our paper, it is now fully open, we're gonna fold it down in half. We already had a crease there, so we made it easy. Now we're gonna take, so here's the bottom point, here's the top flat edge. We're gonna take that top flat edge and the next line down, it's for my paper, it's about an inch down. We're gonna fold the top to that line. So remember, you may have to do adjustments depending on the size of your paper. But mine is eight by eight, and that crease was about an inch the way down. So we're gonna open this up. Open your paper completely. And we're gonna turn it to the side so that the lines that we just made, these creases are going up and down. Okay, so we have the middle here, the middle crease. We're gonna look to the next crease over. So here's the middle of the next one over. I'm gonna fold this onto that crease. So that crease was already there, but it may be going the other direction, so you may have to reverse it. Now we have this edge, and we're gonna go in to the next crease over that we see and we're gonna fold that flap out. Okay, and again, you may have to reverse that crease. It may be going in the other direction. So we have this. So again, we have the middle here. I wanna to look to the next side over where we see the first crease that we come upon. And we're gonna go ahead and take that and fold that down so this flat, flap will go over. There. Okay, now we have this outer edge and we're gonna look to the crease that we have next going in and take that flap and fold it over. So it's going outward again now. Oh, let me fix that, okay. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so the next folds we're gonna do, we're gonna take the outer edge here at this point and we're gonna fold it over to those original little creases we made 
at the beginning. I'm gonna fold that over to that little crease that we can still see there. Give it a good crease there. Okay, we're gonna open this, just this. Do the same thing to this side. Now we're gonna fold it over. We just made that crease so it's no longer little. Fold this, fold this over and make this crease here. Okay, we're gonna leave this side closed. Next, we're gonna take it and we're actually gonna fold it back. It's gonna be folded so we have about, for my paper, about a half inch here left. So I'm gonna pull that back. Let me adjust that there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So I'm gonna close this and then we're gonna pull it back about, leaving about a half inch here. So don't forget to make minor adjustments depending on the size of your paper. Okay, so now from the top, about a third of the way down, you're gonna see a crease here. It's already there. We're just gonna push this down and make the crease look a little bit stronger so that our box holds. And then from the top here now, about an inch down, we're gonna see a little crease here. So I'm gonna open this but push this down where we see that crease and really give it a good fold. Okay, open this. We're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. About the third of the way up, we're gonna already see creases made. Fold this up, just make it stronger. And then now from the bottom about inch way up, we're gonna see this crease here. We're just gonna make that one stronger as well. Pushing this down. strong crease okay so we have this our paper looks like this okay go ahead and take your side here and push it up so it's forming the box and now the top flap here we're going to push up as well when we do so the paper here is going to kind of tuck in so we're pushing this top part up and this paper that's tucking in we're going to go ahead and pinch it so that the fold stays we're gonna do the same thing to this bottom flap, pushing it up. When we do so, our paper is gonna tuck in here. Right up, yeah, there you go. So it tucks in, and we're gonna pinch that crease. Pinch it. Okay, so now we have this side's up, this side is up, and we're gonna put, pull this one up. Again, when we do so, this is gonna tuck in the flap. It tucks in, and then we're going to pinch it. And this one is tucking in, we're gonna pinch that. Oh, kind of already pinched. Okay, so now we have this. So our top points here, we're gonna take them and tuck one into the other. Doesn't matter which one you do, whatever is easier, I guess, and push them closed. Turn your box. We have our little flaps just hanging out here. So we're gonna curl them down and in and tuck them under. Get it to stay good. This one we're gonna tuck down and in. Okay, like so. Push this closed all the way. Make sure our pieces are in and good. And there you go, your origami gift box. Nice and cute. Thank you again for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you again next week.